Hey guys, Ty here, and in this video, we are going to go over some options for lens protectors for your Oculus Go. If you're not using something as a lens protector, anything, you should be. So, I mean, if you set this in a place where sunlight might be passing through the house, just a couple of seconds of sun coming through these lenses will damage the screen. These are like high power magnifying glasses and they will literally physically fry your screen. Uh, it doesn't take much and I see users on the Facebook group and Reddit saying, yeah, you know, like half a second and now I've got a little spot burnt into my screen uh, and it causes permanent damage that is not covered by the warranty and there's no way to fix it. It will ruin your go just like that. Additionally, you want to keep these from getting scratched up and just nasty and dirty, particularly scratched up. So you want to put something in here. Now, you only have two options, really. Oculus doesn't make anything, so that's either something do-it-yourself, uh, and I will show you a way that I made a really great screen protector DIY, or you can go the 3D printed route, and I've got a guy that printed up a couple for me, and we'll get to him in a second, but first let's start off with the do-it-yourself. So. The Go came with a cardboard insert in the, the Go right here protecting the lenses. That is a great way to start. So I originally took mine and I sprayed it down with Flex Seal, like a rubber sealant. And that worked well for a while, um, but it was starting to kind of break down. It was starting to flake off, uh, maybe if I had added more coats. Um, so I decided to take it up a notch and make something a little bit better. So using that same piece of cardboard that was already painted in Flex Seal, I came up with this design right here, and I love this design. It's super, super durable, uh, and it's got a little latch, so I can just grab it to yank it right out of the go. I can put my controller in here, uh, and what I found is I actually have a small battery, and I tend to put the battery in here um, when I'm moving this around the house, so I can just you know stick it in. It fits perfectly. I can carry this with the battery charging it. I've actually got a little clip that I put on the side to keep my controller, so I can just whip this from room to room, all in one package, good to go. So. The way that I made this was easy. I went to Joann's Fabric and I bought one sheet of this like two millimeter foam and it's this black foam right here and it was like I think 89 cents. Then I got a little elastic and I think this is three quarters of an inch and I think it was like two and a half yards and that was like two bucks. So I walked out and I bought um, a thing of felt because I wanted to try maybe something with felt which I didn't really like in the end. I spent less than four dollars. So I took the cardboard and I sprayed it down with some Elmer's adhesive spray that I had. I had that already so I'm not including that in the cost. Uh, and then I glued it to one uh, a bit of foam right here and then I just took a razor and I traced around. This is stuff cuts really easily with a razor blade. So I traced around it and cut it and then I had one side covered with the foam, the other side was still the cardboard. I then just took a length of this elastic about yay long, cut a slit into the center right here and you gotta actually do two slits right next to each other and then kind of punch them out to make it wide enough for this to fit. Then I just fed it through a little over this way, a little bit over this way, some more Elmer's adhesive underneath the flap of this uh, elastic material to kind of glue it into place just a little bit, kind of got it stuck in. And then I sprayed the whole thing, stuck it to the foam again, traced it out so you can't even tell that there's elastic behind here and it's, it's stuck. Super Super, super tight and then putting it in and out is just you know you just stick it in bam you're good to go when you want it out you just pull it out super super easy super convenient it's really really lightweight uh, and I've been using this now for oh, maybe a week and a half two weeks and it has been super durable so I think this is gonna last the lifetime of my go now let's move in to the 3d printed stuff now this stuff looks professional it is professional it's much much higher quality so a user on Facebook and the Facebook Oculus group uh, was posting, hey, if you guys want these things 3D printed, I'll print them for you. Uh, and he charges $25 for the ones made out of PLA, which is just a type of 3D printing material. Um, and then there's another one called PETG, which is a, a higher quality print material, and he charges 35 bucks for those, and that includes shipping. The difference is, Really that the PETG uh, is very, very heat resistant. So the PLA, if I were to stick this on my dashboard uh, in the sun, it might warp, uh, you know, so it is susceptible to damage from heat and warping, whereas the PETG is not. Um, and to be honest, I'm not sure which one's which right here. Uh, so. One of these could work, the other one won't, but I'm not gonna put this in my car. Um, I asked him, are people worried? You know, I'm not gonna leave this sitting on my dashboard. And he said, yeah, some people want that, that, that better material. So I was like, okay. 
And then he was nice enough to actually print a couple of these uh, for me and send them to me. And I'm gonna include all of his information down in the comments or down in the description below so that you guys can reach out to him and there will be an email and a phone number and he'll pop these out for you, get them to you in just a few days and the cost does include shipping. Now, there's two different versions. There's like this version right here which has Oculus Go printed across the top and then the holder for your controller goes up a little bit higher like that. And then there's this version which I've modded a bit because I wanted the stretchy thing instead of the plastic where the plastic just goes right in the middle so the holder for it goes right in the middle now i keep my controller in a silicone sleeve which i love and i'm not going to get rid of this and it didn't really fit initially so i had to take this and i had to sand it out and i just i was using sandpaper and it was fairly hard material and it was taking forever so i just took a dremel and, and then smoothed it out with some sandpaper and now this fits like that However, uh, in uh, my case, I needed it to be like more flexible and, and it needed to go up higher than even this would be uh, just because of the way my case works. And like with this cover that I made, uh, the lens protector I made, I realized that I like to sometimes just stick a battery or something else inside of the go right there. So I did exactly the same with this as I did with this. I just cut a strip of the elastic, I fed it through here, I took the exact same foam that I made out of this, and I spray adhesive in there like that, cut it around like yo, you can't even tell that the elastic goes inside like this. And then this, I will show you, is a perfect fit and it's just so sturdy. So there, it fits inside of it like that. I mean, it's nice being able to like pick your go up and just grab it. You're not gonna worry about hitting those lenses uh, like that. Um, and now it doesn't actually hit the lenses. There's some, a fair amount of clearance uh, and there's a little bit more clearance with this VR covers uh, facial interface versus the regular. It's, it's a little bit tight for me in here, but it fits like a glove with your stock interface, but it works well with this one too. And then I just kind of am careful when I pull it out not to remove or pull on the uh, facial interface here, the lower foam. So these are awesome. Um, yeah, yeah, I, and I kind of like the version that says Oculus Go, and I think the placement being up a little higher is nice too. Just know that if you're using something like this, you are gonna need to sand this out to get this to fit inside of there uh, like that. And then if you wanna mod it, and I mod everything, I'm like a total mod nerd, uh, this elastic is really nice because then you can put a battery or something else in there. Uh, yeah, so, and that's an easy mod, and I already bought the, you know, so I made this and did this mod on all this for four bucks and I still have material left over to make. I've made some straps actually to go around the head straps to hold batteries. I was using Velcro, but I found that was kind of, it was jacking the Velcro on my headset. So I just made some elastic straps that Velcro open and close to secure the battery on here out of the elastic. So I've made a bunch of stuff for like four bucks. So money well spent. So yeah, that's what I recommend. Um, I'm gonna use both of these. You're like, well, why would I want these if you've got these? I like this just for around the house. It's quick, it's easy. Um, but if I'm gonna like travel and I'm gonna like put this thing into my case and I'm going you know, on a plane or I'm traveling with it, I'm gonna want like really, really make sure there's good protection. If something happens and my go case gets slammed, something smashes into this I want to make sure that there's hard plastic inside of this so there's room uh, in my life for uh, both of these uh, covers right here so I'm definitely going to be using this uh, when I go out of the house and this is just my around the house everyday cover right there it is a little bit easier to get in and out for me because I do have the thicker face plate. Okay, so that's that. Uh, that's just my two cents. If you guys have any ideas, how have you made your lens protectors? I'm sure you've come up with some creative ways to make your own. Comment down below, let us know. Maybe post a, a link to an image or picture of it. Uh, share your ideas with us. If you have any questions, ask in the comments down below. Everybody here is happy to help. Uh, as always, please give the video a thumbs up. That really does help the channel. Uh, if you're interested in this stuff, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell button to get notified. I post this sort of content fairly frequently. And that is that. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.